Hey everyone, so this is Catfish Season 9, Episode um, 15. Kaylin and Jordan. Kaylin is 23, living in Indiana. Jordan is 22, lives in Florida. Um, they met in a uh, chat room when they were kids. Um, essentially when she was, uh, I think she was 11 and he was... 10 um and um you know uh king was like well typically in, in chat rooms what you do is you you claim you're an age older than what you are and with george uh kaylin she said she was 18 and he said he was 19 um so you know she explains um, in the email initially that, you know, she flew down to Florida twice. So he set up, he set her up both times. Um, and he never seemed, he never wants a video chat. Um, and he recently, well, no, cause it's not recently. She said the last time they talked on the phone was when they were kids. So, um, when she gets into the Zoom chat, you know, she explains she has not only a three year old daughter, but one-year-old twin boys. So she's had at least some form of relationship with at least one of the men that wasn't um, Jordan over the years. Um, and, you know, in the Zoom call, she explains, you know, a conversation on chat that turned a conversation on kick, and then he... It, it, the conversation turns to talk on the phone, um, and texting and all that. So, um, she really likes him because, you know, when she got pregnant with her, her kids, he helped her get through both pregnancies and be, you know, okay with them and stuff like that. So, you know, she gets off of Zoom, sends his information that she has on him and all that stuff. So they check, you know, pictures, and, um, they don't find anything. They check Cash App, and on the account, um, there's a name that, that comes up called Cash. So, this Cash App has the same username as Snapchat for, that, um, Kaylin has. And so they look up... The username on Google, not really finding anything. So they look up his username on Snapchat, don't really find anything there either. So they look at the phone number that she has for him, and it comes back to someone named Taj Hamill. Um, so they look up Taj's name on Twitter and Facebook or um, Google, and they find a Twitter and Facebook page for, for that name. So um, they also see like a Instagram page from the Facebook, um, and it, they the pictures of Taj seem like they're of a woman more so than a man. So they're assuming that you know she's in. They 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 also see what looks like the the pride flag um, on these pages. So they're thinking like she's like this she. Because they're assuming that this woman is bisexual or lesbian. So the next day, once they do all this investigating, they tell Kaylin everything they found on Jordan um, and decide to call him. Someone picks up, sounds like a woman, um, and they explain the situation for them for the person to ultimately hang up. Um, So they text this number um, uh, and give Jordan time to respond. So about an hour later, they check back and they don't really they don't have a response. So they get Caitlin back in Zoom and they decide to send a Snapchat video to Jordan. Jordan opens it, uh, says he'll go on Zoom. Um, when he does, it's actually him. Um, and he says, "Well, the reason." And, this is where I was pissed off because it's like, okay, 
and explain. I've like you wanted to get your finances in order before you begin a romantic relationship. Okay, that's fine. What the issue is, is you don't have the time to video chat. Like you can at least, we can have these conversations on video and hell, even a phone call. You can, you can do all that. You don't have to keep it to just texting. That's the thing. Like, I mean... We can have all these chats and stuff on video chat. Like, why keep it to just texting? I mean, and he's, he's, and because, and, and Kaylin is not really understanding because it's like, well, I mean, she, she has three kids under the age of five and she manages to find the time to, talk to him and so she to like and she's got a point she has what I see more time on her or more on her plate and she still manages to find time to talk to him every single day even if it is just through texting because he refuses to get on fucking video chat um So Jordan's like, well, my real name isn't Jordan. It's actually Taj. And people on the internet only know me as Jordan. Jordan and his, the connections he makes on the internet don't go beyond the internet. And it's just like, can you just, just dump him in the trash or something? Because this is ridiculous. Um, and he freaking reveals, you know, I've got a girlfriend and we made it official a month ago. Like, okay, so if if you have a whole ass girlfriend, why are you texting Kaylin that you want to put a baby inside of her? I mean, none of what he's saying makes sense. If you have a whole girlfriend, A, why did you not say anything about this girlfriend? And B, why are you telling her you're going to put a baby inside of her if you're not serious about her? Because that sounds like serious commitment is you're wanting to put a baby inside someone. And not only that, but he he says, well, I don't see myself being a stepfather to her kids. Well, if you don't want to be a stepdaddy to her kids, we're what you're we're, we're gonna assume you don't want to be a dad period so why are you telling people that you want to put a baby inside of them like make it make sense like make it make sense like none of this is making any sense so i'm done with him just based off of what he's saying here we find two out uh, two months later he apologized and caitlin's like okay i accept and they're they have a platonic relationship and he's cl- and, and, uh, and this is the kicker. He's he said that he was talking to three other girls other than Kay- Kaylin, like he talks to Kaylin. So he has five women, his actual girlfriend Kaylin, and then three other women, and talking to them like that. And it's like okay. Um, so now, and two months later, he's he's like, well, I'm talking to other people online, but it's only in the business sense. Like, I don't believe him. I don't believe him. So, Thal said, he's annoying. He, I hope his girlfriend sees this episode or someone shows it to her. Uh, and she sees the shit that he's said and done and, and all this crap. And she dumps him. I hope, I hope so. Because that's ridiculous. That's absolutely freaking ridiculous. Anyway, so next week... There's this Instagram model named Diamond who meets Steve on social media, and uh, it's looking like like the person that is behind this Steve profile is someone that she knows. If it's not actually the guy in the pictures, um, and there's like a specific message, like comment, a message comment or whatever, um, on a social media profile that she doesn't see, which to me is 
I assume, um, means that he blocked her from seeing that specific message. So I'm assuming it wasn't like on Facebook, because I know at least on Facebook, you're, you can, um, make it so that people don't see specific posts other people make. Um, so I'm gonna assume here that maybe that that means that she knows um, this person. Like, it's not actually Steve, it's someone that she knows, like a, a family, a family member, a friend, or whoever, I don't know. Or maybe it's like an ex or something, I don't know. Uh, that's what I'm assuming. But, again, I don't know. So, I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>